Hey, welcome back to the Build Show. Steve Basic, architect here. I'm out on one of my new job sites and look what we have here. Just got delivered here, I think yesterday. But uh, yes, you guessed it. That is the two by six bare naked T-stud. So for you out there that aren't familiar with a T-stud, Let's uh, unwrap this baby here and reveal what we're talking about. So the T-stud is nothing more than a little mini truss. So it has these two cords and you can see the two cords work in opposing angles. So you get a nice long two and a half inch face on one side and you get the standard inch and a half face on this side. But what you also get is this doweled connection that provides a little over 97% of a thermal break across the face of that stud. So anyways, great product. Looking forward to using it again here. This is gonna be a highly efficient house. We're gonna couple that with some R9 on the outside. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the studio. We'll pull up some details. And we'll talk a little bit about how do we put a really good wall together and no less using the T-stud. I'll see you back at the studio. Hey everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, exciting trip out to the job site there. Framing is... Uh, about to commence and we have T studs on the job site, but look what I got here. We got props, props. So just like we talked about out at the job site, we have an inch and a half by two and a half inch cord, inch and a half by two and a half inch cord. They're offset in the orientation. So that uh, two and a half, an inch, three, four, that leaves us about an inch and a half or so of space. And when I turn it this way, you can see those dowels, which are just shy of three quarters of an inch, make up the connector piece to that. So I just did the calculations. I ran through for a nine foot stud. There's about 19 of these three quarter inch dowels that uh, traverse the two cords in that nine foot. So I calculated it's it's roughly about a 96% thermal break. That, that means those dowels occupy about 4% of the connection space along the inch and a half rib, um, which is typically, that is the one that is set to the inside. We typically put the um, offset one to the outside. So it just gives a little bit more to uh, bear that sheathing on. But uh, yeah, about 96% thermally efficient. And you know, it's interesting, I was just down at a job site this morning where we're doing a double stud wall. And you know, when I hold this up, it's basically a double stud wall, right? I mean, effectively you have two studs. These are interconnected. The double stud wall that I was at today is actually a two by six and two by four for a full, 12 inch thick wall, but uh, yeah, these are basic, basically the same concept, just on a smaller scale. So anyways, we'll put the props down, we'll pick up Big Red, we'll break out a drawing, and we'll talk a little bit about the uh, benefits of the T-stud in our wall system out here at our farmhouse project. So let's have at that detail. All right, broke out this detail. And this is a detail at the banjoy, so that's the area between the first and second floor. You can see there's the banjoy. Give you a little orientation. This is the top plate of the first floor wall frame, and this is the bottom plate of the second floor wall frame. Now the T stud comes into play. It's right there, and you can see there's that two and a half inch cord that goes longitudinally into the wall and then there is a shorter one that's coming out at us 
You can see that there. And there's that one cord. And it really doesn't matter. It's just whatever your preference is. Do you give the drywall or the sheathing guy? Um, I think when we actually did these out there, we flipped them and we put the shallower edge on the inside. But there is the cords to the T-stud. So you can see here, you know, you begin to see there's a real beauty in that you have this inch and a half dimension here and you have that and that, this being the two and a half. So this ends up being roughly that inch and a half. Um, you know, the inch and a half plus the wood, you're probably on the order of, um, let's see, it's four, six, minus one, four, six is five. So we're probably at somewhere around R11-ish across the T-stud here. Right. And in the center of cavity, write that down here, the center of cavity, we're at about R21. So you can see that uh, we lose about, you know, half the R value in that. But understand that if that's a solid 2 by 6 that's a solid 2 by 6 we're at roughly, you know, maybe about R5 or 6, somewhere in there. So we basically double the R value by using the T-stud. And, you know, where the T-studs are, where the framing is, that probably accounts for about 12 to 15 percent. I'll we'll call it 12 to 18 percent because if you have some framers that like to throw wood in the wall at 16 inches on center, you're going to get to a higher framing number there. The 12 is a very, very uh, conservative number on advanced framing. And the center of cavity, R21, well, that makes up that difference. So we're probably somewhere in like the 65-ish percent range on the center of cavity but you know that's not the largest number but we are enhancing it and making the wall better and making the wall basically a little bit warmer um, by having that higher R value in there by substituting them and on this particular project we actually went one step further and we put a zip R9 product out here and that's an insulating sheathing and then the sheathing is on the outside portion there but you have the rigid insulation here that's an inch and a half of polyiso and that yields that R9 so again even at the stud we're at roughly R20 and that's an actual number that's not that's not a uh, nominal number the center of cavity takes that R21 adds the R9 and that gets us up to about R30 for the cavity with that R9 so you can see that R9 is actually a really good boost to the system too but when you combine that with a stud that's offering, like I said, we're probably in the 96% range for a thermal break. From a thermal perspective and thermal control layer, this wall is really starting to work very well for you um, as far as uh, the thermal resistance or the R value. And, uh, and understand that we talked about the framing there being the 12 to 18, this being the 65. Well, if I add those two numbers, 65 and say the, we'll take the middle of the road, 15 there, then we're at about 80% of our wall has that R9 
on the outside because the R9, the only place it doesn't exist is that 20% where we have windows and doors. All right. So the T-stud definitely offers some aid in the wall, but so doesn't the R sheathing on the outside is a contributor, the cavity insulation there. So together they work in, you know, a really good concert together. And for 80% of the wall, we really have a really good section of wall that's in that, you know, R30 range. So, and we only went around the building, you know, we framed the building and went around once with the sheathing. So it's not like it's a real complicated wall to get achieve that in the zip R, R9 here, then that's also working as our primary air barrier. So it's doing a little bit more for us than just being the insulation too. So again, great, great complement of materials in this wall system. It's gonna make the uh, clients extremely happy um, in the coldest days of the year here. We're in uh, climate zone five on this house. Um, so we'll give you some perspective of where we're building this wall. And uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, as Matt would say, it's a, it's a bomber wall. So anyways, thanks for following along. Big Red is going to bed. All right, so walk through that detail. We walked through some props. We saw the delivery out on the site. It's our big uh, couple lifts of T-studs out there, and uh, we're a little bit more educated on the T-stud. If you're looking for more information from me, look no further than the Build Show Network. I literally have uh, probably uh, close to a couple hundred videos by now. Um, definitely up there and they grow every week i put up a new video every week and uh so go check them out if you watch them twice then there's definitely hundreds of them um if you're looking for more you can find me on instagram steve basic architect there i'm putting up all kinds of information daily there that are you know as i travel around to the different projects shoot a bunch of reels and videos and take a bunch of pictures and uh, share that information and some thoughts behind it on Instagram. Um, you can also find me on the Unbuild It podcast, and uh, you can find that on all the podcast channels, and you can find it on YouTube. Um, I team up with good friends uh, Jake Bruton and Peter Yost, and we talk about a whole bunch of things. I think this past week we talked about floor framing. So anyways, go check it out there. Follow me on Instagram, and always Come back to the build show every Friday. Until next time, long live our buildings.